We're Kesley and Christian. Um, we've been married for almost 11 years, together for 17. Um, we grew up in California, and we've been here for almost a year. Um, we got married in 2013, and everything seemed like a normal, normal marriage. Uh, we found out that we were having a baby. Uh, we found out it was a boy. You know, we had picked out a name, Matthew. 28 weeks pregnant, we um, lost the baby. And um, we both took it very hard. Uh, we both had days of not wanting to get out of bed, not wanting to talk to each other, not wanting to deal with it. We didn't know how to deal with it. Um, so it was, it was hard, but we still kind of chugged along in our marriage and did what we thought to keep the marriage going. Um, ever about three or four months after we lost Matthew, um, found out we were pregnant again, and um, we lost that baby also at 10 weeks, and that was our, our breaking point. We ended up getting separated. Um, for a good year. Almost a year. Almost a year. Um, I ended up just shifting, doing a total 180 on what everything I had thought of or uh, been brought up in and uh, ended up getting in some really bad things up to the point where I just kind of wanted my life to end. And I was on the opposite side of that. I mean, um, we both grew up in church and Church and God was, it's who I was. And um, I was at church almost every day. I worked there. And so when we lost the babies and each other, all I knew to do was to turn to God. Um, so I leaned into him and I had my, my prayer journal and, you know, reading my Bible every night and... Um, I worked alone, so I just in constant prayer at work all day long, um, crying out to God to to help me heal from losing um, two babies, you know, our marriage almost ending, and just um, asking Him to bring our marriage back together and um, to bring Christian's faith back um, was really important. Um, and so that went on for, like He said, almost a year. Uh, and then we slowly started um, talking again and hanging out and sort of started over and um, we're getting to know each other again because I feel like we were basically totally different people than when we first got married. Yeah. A little bit after that, um, uh, we found out that we were expecting another baby. Um, and Evan came in 2016, 2016. After that, um, we kind of decided uh, that it would be best to go back to church or try to go back to church. And uh, we did not f find one. Uh, we ended up not finding one. And um, at that point, um, we decided to start looking into moving out of California. Mm -hmm. At this time, we now had three kids, um, and Christian's job had the opportunity for us to move out here to North Carolina, and so we we jumped on it because we were ready to kind of start over and ha have a new life, um, <laughs> which is one of the reasons that I've picked to come to this church, actually, <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds. But, um, we started coming in. Mother of last year uh, was our first day here. Um, and then um, the month after that, um, we, on an altar call for reconciliation with God, I kind of felt the tug of God again. Um, but this time, he just kind of gripped me. I, I told Kesley that uh, at that point, I didn't know. I, it, it, I just kind of went out of um, auto control or something because uh, I just grabbed her and I rushed to the altar. 
And uh, before I knew it, I had my hands up. I was bawling like a baby. And it's been, it's been some, somewhat of a journey since then. Uh, we've, we've both have gone deeper into God's word, into God and who he is. And we've gone nonstop. I mean, it's been, it's been a, something that I would never trade uh, for anything. Uh, I mean, he's done things in our lives and he keeps on doing things in our lives that we just, it, it can only be explained by it's God. It's God.